Good day everyone, my name is Nick and we're going to be reviewing game playing Total Recall on the Commodore Amiga, published by Ocean in 1990 and based on the film Total Recall starring Arnold Schwarzenegger in 1990 as well, which I'm sure you've heard of. There was a reboot of the film in 2012, but let's not mention that. You play the part of Douglas Quaid over seven levels in on Earth and on Mars. It's a mixture of platforming and driving, which hopefully I can show you a bit of it, but I doubt I'll be able to show you all of it because the game is so ridiculously hard. But I do know a cheat mode, so if I don't do very well on the first go, we'll, uh, we'll put that in. But it's a typing one, so um, fingers crossed it, it works. Total Recall. See you at the party, Victor. Yes, lots of great lines in this film. I love the movie, so hopefully this game doesn't let me down. Uh, Doug Quaid is a construction worker on a trip to Recall. They uh, did a memory wipe on him, or implant, and he remembered all this stuff about being a spy on Mars and some undercover mystery thing, and Sharon Stone is his wife, which is a pretty good thing to wake up to, really. So, we're on a platform bit first of all. Here's the memory implant taking place. If you haven't seen the film, which I'm sure you have, and if you haven't seen the film, look it up. The old one, not the new one. Yes. I love Arnold Schwarzenegger movies. Brilliant. 1990 this one. Recall. Recall. Get your ass to Mars. No, not your donkey, but your actual posterior. Here we go. So here's Douglas Quaid here. Um, yeah, so he's running along. Now the problem with this game, straight away, is it's one of those ones that has um, enemies that just keep respawning. So you can't kill them all. Yeah, so you've got to move fast, you can't hang about. This first level is all about going around collecting items and finding an exit off the level, which hopefully I can do, I can't guarantee it. If I can't, well, um, yeah, we might have to do it sometime later while I look for it for hours, so I can show you at least what the driving bit's like. So up and down these lifts, a bit like Robocop 2, have you seen that? And shoot everyone, right, there's an arrow there on the, uh, in yellow, keeps flashing, so I presume we have to go that way. Our energy bar is in the bottom right there in red. When that goes to zero, we're doomed. We've got bullets as well for our gun, a limited amount. Um, and you, you can't drop like that or you're dead. Right, game over. Yeah, see you at the party, Victor. Doug Quaid. Hmm, okay, yes. So lots of good lines in the film. I don't know if we'll see them in here, but the music on this is absolutely outstanding. I'm not bowled over by the gameplay so far. But I suppose someone's got to make money out of it back in the day. Hey man, I got five kids to feed. Yes, well done you taxi cab driver person you. With Johnny Cabs on the scene, I suppose you've got lots of competition. Right, there he is. There's Arnie doing a bit of drilling. Uh, and then the dream about Mars. Let's go to Mars. I'm going to try and put the cheat in. Which basically you type in listen to the whales in capital letters. And then the screen flips over. Or the title screen, not the main screen afterwards. And that means we've done it. Um, yay! Success! Total recall upside down. Yay! Right. Well, we are going to the party now, aren't we? Let's go! But, um, we still got to find our way out of this thing, so it might not be plain sailing completely. Yes. Get your ass to Mars! Hopefully I can complete this game or this level quicker than two weeks. Two weeks. Two weeks, two weeks, two weeks. And you get the general idea there. Get ready for a surprise. Right, so he's coming out of that door. Let's leave him behind. As soon as we go up a lift, he completely loses interest in us. Oh, well, these, this game is very, very tough without the cheats on. My energy bar's still going down. But I think when it gets to the bottom, we're still going to be alive. Uh, the cheat stops working if you fall down any distance. So, you know, it's still going to be a little bit tricky. Douglas Quaid is being pursued by the gangsters of Recall. There's an alien device on Mars which will give it air, and that means the company won't be able to sell air, and they'll lose their control over the planet. So that's no good, is it? And the uh, the bad guy is that Dick Jones out of Robocop, so there is a link between the games there. He was good playing a villain, wasn't he? I don't know the actor's name. Uh, if you know, let me know below. There's a gun there. We hopefully we can upgrade that or get bullets. Arrow is pointing downwards, so let's go down there. Listen to the music on this. The music is absolutely outstanding. 
graphics are okay. Um, you know, it's the difficulty before that kills it a little bit. But if you if you completed this game back in the day, let me know. Because if a kid's done lots of goes on it, it could be quite rewarding getting as far as you did. Seven levels. This is level one, of course. Uh, mixture of platformers driving, as I said. Um, I want to show you at least one platform bit and one driving bit. And by Jiminy Jones, we will do for sure. Douglas Quaid is played by Dreams of Mars, where he's a secret agent. Or is he? Or is it all just a dream? You got a hell of a nerve showing your face around here. Look who's talking. Yes. If you haven't seen the film, you won't know any of these lines I'm saying, which I'm probably saying wrong anyway. Are you a big fan of the movie? I'd have to say I'm a bigger fan of the movie than the game at the moment. But I, I am enjoying it on the, the cheat mode, of course, but I don't know where the hell I'm going. Uh, would have frustrated a kid back in the day the level of difficulty, because look at all the, the enemy, they stuck on you like glue. That pyramid graphic in the middle, it's like the pyramid buried underneath the Mars um, plateau. There's an alien machine there, by putting your hand on, releases lots of air and stuff, and it basically makes the planet habitable. I don't know why the aliens didn't activate it, but there we go. Yeah, the mutant population um, are there, and is it what's his name? Quato is is the main leader of the rebellion, the good people. Douglas Quaid, complete this game. I'll try my best, Quato, 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 the fizzy drink, wherever your name is. Well done. Yeah, okay. Yeah, shut up now. Here we go. Da 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 da. da. Right. Okay. Get Po here. Hmm. You're the girl of my dreams. Right, I don't know who he said that to, but there, I don't think Sharon Stone's in this game. There's no movie cutscenes or anything like that. This is the Commodore Amiga, 16 bit gaming from 1990. Did you own this on any different systems? I presume it came out on the Atari ST. It may have come out as 1990. It may have come out as an 8 bit system, so I have to look that up to see how it compares. If you know, let me know. And then I might have a look at it on the ZX Spectrum or Commodore 64 if it was about. But I'm guessing it's going to be very, very tricky, uh, much like this one. Come on, Arnold. Now, if he runs out of bullets, it's all down to fist fighting. Uh, and Arnold's fortunately was good in a fist fight. Another great film he's in, which I'm not sure has been made into a game. I'd have to look that up as well, is The Running Man. Very underestimated that, that book. Well, it was a book, first of all, but very underestimated that film. Been meaning to uh, look at the book for quite some time. This is the bit where someone tells me there wasn't a book, The Rallying Man, Nick. You've imagined the whole thing, and I go, hmm, what am I thinking of then? And someone else will say, Jaws? And I go, yeah, all right then, and I'll save face. Mars. Yes. Why why uh, take a holiday as yourself when you can go as a secret agent or baseball star or, or game reviewer? Yeah, that's exciting, isn't it? Right, I've been wandering around here for ages. We might have to do a sometime later here, because I'm determined to show you the driving bit. Duh, 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 duh. I've got a cheat on. How can I possibly fail? I mean, that arrow, I'm, I don't 100% trust that arrow. I think it might be joking me. Don't want to fall down that hole, because it'd be game over straight away. A map will be good, but quite a lot of these. Everywhere looks exactly the same. Jump, right, he falls down the hole. They're not very good jumpers, these enemies. I don't know who they're supposed to be. Thugs or something like that. Yeah. Douglas Quaid, you blabbed about Mars and now you've got to die. I don't think we get to shoot Sharon Stone in the head in this game. Yeah. Anyway, she looked mighty fine in that film. Consider that a divorce. Oh dear. Right, what's that? So we're basically walking around a platform, collecting objects, trying not to get killed. Whenever there's a doorway, there's someone's going to come out and try and kill us. Game moves okay, frame rate is okay, it looks quite nice. Um, yeah, I prefer Switchblade 2. But uh, yeah, it's the movie It's the movie time that actually makes this. It's okay, it's, it's not the best game in the world, but it isn't hideously bad. It looks quite nice, the music is brilliant. It's just too difficult. I mean, with a lot of games, if you've got the, uh, with the developers got the difficulty level correct, then it would even make or break the game. And this could have been, well, more awesome than it is already, but at the moment it's frustrating. I don't think I would have come back to it a great deal because of that difficulty level. So I suppose, overall, the game makers fail a little bit here. Yeah. Well, anyway, we'll see what it's like when the driving bit comes along, which I think you're in a Johnny Cab. Here's Johnny Cabs. How did I get here? The door opened and you got in. 
<laughs> or something like that. It's been a while since I've seen the film and you've got a wet towel on your head. Okay. Come on, Douglas Quaid. You're not Hauser, you're Quaid. Uh, right, I think we might do it sometime later here because I could be literally wandering around for two weeks. Two we Oh no, I've done that joke, haven't I? I've done the two weeks joke. I think I have. Let's cross it off the list. Thank goodness, we're finally off the stage. Now stage two, which is driving a taxi, which hopefully I can last more than about 10 seconds. Please fasten your seatbelt. Seat okay, Johnny Cabs, we're controlling this cab here. And it looks like we got to avoid all the traffic, and this this looks very very basic. Yeah, this is um this is well this is rubbish, isn't it? <laughs> There's no getting away from it. This this is very bad. Right, let's just see if we can get through this bit. Should have been a vertical scroller or something, but this doesn't work. Yeah. Oh man. I hope you enjoyed the ride. I don't think we did this time. We've blown up. Oh no. Oh, drive, drive. Could you repeat the destination? No. Right, we'll have a few more goes. Oh, we'll have a couple more goes. Let's not go silly about it. Let's have a go at the uh, cabs here. Let's go. They did a lot of movie times, didn't they, Ocean? Um, Batman the Movie was a good one, if you want to check that out. I reviewed that a long, long time ago. Maybe a candidate for a revisited uh, video, that one. I don't know. Right, floor it. There's lots of Johnny cabs about. Don't seem to be any other cars. The bad guys don't seem to be after us. Let's just try and avoid everyone. And pick up coins. Shoot stuff out the way. Now, I don't think Johnny Cab's actually had a gun in it, so that must be Arnie with his hand out the window. Oh, look at that. We can only click stuff about two or three times, it seems. Energy went right down. It looks like our invincibility doesn't work on stage two, which is a shame. Continue. Yes, I think so. I think so. We've got to see uh, Victor at the party or something, but his arms have come off, I believe, if you've seen the film. Yeah. Right, come on. Let's go, go. Let's go surfing now. Douglas Quaid, show me how. Everybody party on Mars. Yeah. What was the name of that guy, the cab driver? He was lying the whole time, wasn't he? He was a mutant. Hey, man, i got five kids to feed. Oh, you got me. I'm not even married. Yeah, that was good, him. Well done. If someone wants to do the radio play, I'll play him. Yeah, I'm sure I can do that. Good. Better than Douglas Quaid, anyway. And all that woman he was. Yeah, well, we died quite quickly again. We're dying quite quickly. That's something I seem to be quite good at, to be honest with you all. Continue. I think we'll call that a day there. So I hope you liked having a look at that one. That was Total Recall on the Commodore Amiga, published by Ocean in 1990, and based on the film the same year. Got any comments about this one? Then please put that below. You're always more than welcome. It aims to be a nice, friendly channel. A huge thank you to everyone that's subscribed so far. Um, and if you haven't subscribed already, please consider doing so, because that could help the channel greatly. If you want to help it a bit more, there's patreon.com slash njenkin. Every bit really does help. Until next time, take great care of yourself and a very fun goodbye. Goodbye.